Afternoon, evening guys, how's it going? Hope, uh, hope you are all doing well. Uh, sorry, I am a minute late, uh, which is uh, unacceptable really. I do try and be on time, uh, so apologies if I've kept you waiting. Uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. <coughs> uh, let's see who's, uh, who's rushing to be the first in the comments. Uh, there may have been a few of you stacking up this week. So we've got Jack is first as far as I can tell. Samantha reckons she's first, but I can see Jack pipping a do it. Hey Kelly, hey Andy, hey Megan, I hope you guys are all well. Uh, can you hear me all right? Uh, I was just having some last minute technical issues there, so um, hopefully, <laughs> oh my god, Keely, that is terrifying. I uh, can Nikki is last, absolutely. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys can probably hear me, uh, otherwise someone would have told me by now. But uh, yeah, please do let me know if you can't hear me. Hey, happy Valentine's Day to all you lovers. Sounding beautiful, mate. Thank you, Andy. A um, little bit concerned that there's so many people here spending their time with me, not with their loved ones, but uh, hey, it's all good. I love you guys, and uh, I'm sure it is mutual. A keyboard wouldn't open. I was the first. Chris, you were a liar. You were second last week, and you were well down the ranks this week. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Thanks for jumping on tonight. Um, yeah, has, uh, has anyone done anything nice for Valentine's Day? Has anyone had a, uh, had a nice breakfast or a nice lunch or a nice dinner? Have you got anything nice planned after the draw? Do, uh, do let us know in the comments, like, to, uh, to hear what you guys are up to. Uh, standing next to my loved one. Oh, that's beautiful, Sam. I have a screenshot for proof that you're loved, Chris. My Valentine has better things to do, so... Yeah, Kelly, it happens. <laughs> it happens. Some of us have to work. Right, we have four draws to run through tonight, guys. Um, in fact, before I do that, there's something that I need to do on this draw. Let's see if I can get this little poll launched here. Activate poll. Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I've got another monitor over there. Hopefully that has worked and there should now be a poll for the naming of the spoon um it would only give me three or four options so i've chucked in three name options and then if you are if you don't like any of them tick the fourth option and we can go again next week and find the name for the wooden spoon i'm about to make jenna cuppa jenna cuppa true love absolutely andy cup of tea the northern way Oh yeah, I can see we've got the uh, we've got the poll up on the screen there now. So um, do uh, do cast your votes if you care, and uh, we'll take a look at the uh, we'll take a look at the results shortly. Right, so four draws to run through tonight. Let's make a start on those. Um, <laughs> Kelly likes mix for the name from the sound of it. So the first draw that we're going to run through tonight is the. Uh, cuisine Arts 2-in-1 Pancake and Waffle Maker. Um, most of you guys I'm sure are aware. The reason we did this, Shrove Tuesday is coming up, Pancake Day. Uh, so what better way to, uh, to help someone celebrate than to, uh, to help them win a Pancake Maker. So that's the first, uh, the first prize we're going to be running through today. Uh, then we've got three others, we'll get onto those in a minute. Um, so for the Pancake and Waffle Maker, there were 100 tickets available and 49 tickets were sold. So just under half of the tickets were sold for the waffle maker or the pancake and waffle maker. Um, so pretty decent odds if you have entered. Let's switch the screen around to picture in picture uh, so that you guys can see what I've got on the screen behind me a little bit better. Uh, who else is, a few, pe few more people have joined us there. Who have we got? We've got Susan, hey Susan, hey Johnny. Great to have you guys here. Stop waffling and do the draw. Yeah, yeah. Nice one, Andy. Make a pancake out of you. Flatten you. Uh, right, so we've got some fingers crossed for the pancake maker. Right, um, how's everything looking here? As I said, 100 potential entries. We received 49. So let's, uh, well, first of all, let's have a quick look at the, um, at the list here. Do a scroll down for you guys. <coughs> if you have entered, you'll spot your name in there, hopefully. Goes all the way up to 100 with 51 gaps in there. Let's pop our parameters in. So we need one to 100 on the Google random number generator. 
Um, and we are ready to run the first draw of the evening. So for the cuisine art pancake and waffle maker, Andy wants me to stop waffling on. Uh, so let's do the draw and find ourselves a winner. Um, if the random number generator picks a number that doesn't have a name against it, we will roll again and we will find ourselves a winner. Do not worry about that. So let's go for the first prize of the evening, the pancake and waffle maker. The winning number is 84. 84 for the pancake and waffle maker. Let us see, have we got ourselves a winner with 84? 84, it looks like it's a gap in the entries. Yep, no name against 84. So we'll go again and we will uh, eventually find ourselves a winner. 65 this time, 65 for the cuisine art. Uh, it's another blank. I've seen Amy Kane, you've been close both times, but uh, it is another blank for the waffle, pancake and waffle maker. So we'll go again and uh, keep going until we've got that winning number. Number six this time, number six. Do we have a name? We do. We do and do. Uh, number six from North Yorkshire, it is in Cockerell. Uh, I don't think you've won before. I think you may be a first timer. Correct me if I'm wrong and if you're uh, watching in the chat. Uh, but yeah, I think this is your first win with us. So with number six, it is in Cockerell from North Yorkshire. Let's whack the details in there. I've definitely seen the name in the entries before, but pretty sure this is your first win. So, uh, yeah, congratulations. We'll get that off to you. I think Pancake Day is the 21st or maybe 22nd of uh, February, so that will uh, definitely reach you in time. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you can send us uh, some pictures of your wonderful pancake creations. Maybe someone will be, uh, will be making pancakes for you. Who knows? Uh, right, let's have a quick look at the comments before we uh, get on to the runner-up prize. Johnny, taking a quick break from Hogwarts Legacy to win an air fryer. Uh, I've been meaning to ask actually, how was the game? Um, I remember you said last week you were going to be playing. So, uh, yeah, how was it? Um, I haven't really read up much about it, so I'd be keen to, to know what you think. Watching Domino play because she's taken over it. <laughs> so close Andy twice. Keep sucking Andy because of a stupid pun. I think you might be right, Kelly. Nicola Cockerell about bloody time. Yeah, so Susan reckons it's her first win. We've got lots of congratulations. Craig, I thought I'd won. Here's Andy with the puns. Love it, mate. Love it. Uh, right, so, runner-up. Uh, runner-up for the um, for the £5 store credit. Um, we won't reveal the results of the poll just yet in case some more people do happen to uh, do happen to join partway through the stream. But we've got the wooden spoon here. Hopefully we'll have a name for it by the end of tonight. And let's find ourselves a runner-up prize who will get £5 store credit. Um, if it rolls to number six again, uh, that's not eligible for the store credit. Um, every other number is. So let's find out who it is. Number 15 for the store credit. Uh, yep, we do have a name. It is S. McCain from Cambridgeshire. S. McCain from Cambridgeshire. Congratulations. Pretty sure you were there in the stream. Let's work your details in there and we will get the store credit added to your account after tonight's draw. Happy days, you haven't won store credit with us before, I know you won a pizza oven with us. <laughs> uh, store credit's not quite as glamorous, but uh, who knows, maybe you can use it to win something nice. Alrighty, uh, so that's draw number one, done and dusted. Let's, uh, let's get the pancake and waffle maker off, and let's bring up draw number two. Make sure we present it nicely, we're not ruffians. Uh, so, draw number two for the evening, in honour of the upcoming Drink Wine Day, which I think from memory is the 18th of February, uh, Drink Wine Day, uh, we have the wine bundle, so that comes with the Le Creuset wine fountain, uh, with the, uh, the dispenser doohickey, uh, and it also comes with uh, 12 wine glasses, the, uh, the six Dartington white wine glasses and the six Dartington red wine glasses. Um, let's reset that random number generator, back to zero, back to zero, and just run through the stats for the straw. So we had 100 entries available, we received, um, we had 43 tickets bought, um, so a bit under half of them were, were sold for this straw. Let's have a quick gander at the, uh, at the entry list there. Uh, obviously a few less names than the last one. Uh, but there they all are. So 43 entries for the wine bundle. 
let's pop the parameters up in the random number generator and we will get on to the draw list. Let's have a quick look at the uh, quick look at the old comments there. Keely's loving the buttons. I assume that's what you're laughing at. Got lots of whoops. Oh yeah, Samantha, congrats on the old uh, the old store credit there. Kelly's got the wine out. Excited for this. Keeps popping off my Facebook ads for me. Ooh, is that right? Um, right, let's have a drink. Let's have not wine. And let's find ourselves a winner for draw number two for the evening. <clears throat> so, 43 tickets sold for the Le Creuset and Dartington wine bundle. Uh, we're going to click generate and find ourselves the winner. Let's go 21. 21 for the uh, for the wine bundle there. Do we have a winner? We do. Oh, they've had a few wins recently. They won last week. Uh, Jay D'Souza from Essex. Congratulations, mate. You have got yourself the uh, the little wine bundle there. Well done. Yeah, you're on a, uh, a little bit of a streak at the moment, I'd say. Uh, let's work your details in there. Uh, yeah, what did you want? You won the pizza oven last week. Uh, huge win. Uh, so now you can enjoy some... Uh, some wine with those pizzas. Uh, yeah, congratulations. We'll, uh, we'll get that courier off to you tomorrow, uh, just as soon as we've confirmed those delivery details as per usual. Uh, congratulations. Uh, Radio. I don't think I've seen your name pop up in the chat tonight, but if you are there, uh, sometimes you do lurk in the background. Uh, do, uh, do give us a little hip hip hooray, because uh, you've got the doohickey now. Uh, Radio, let's find out who the winner is of the uh, wooden spoon runner-up prize the five pound store credit and it is number six uh, it was number six in the last draw wasn't it number six uh, for the store credit it's a blank this time um, so we're gonna go again 66 all the sixes all the sixes for the store credit uh, we've got another blank uh, mr. Lee one off but uh, one off's not good enough uh, we're gonna have to go again uh, so for the store credit 61 61 is another blank. Let's keep going. 86. Uh, it's another blank. Another blank in the uh, in the entry list. Let's go again. Uh, 73 this time. Come on, 73. You can do it. There he is. JD from North Yorkshire. 73 for the store credit. Congratulations, mate. Let's uh, let's whack those details in there for you. Uh, first time for you winning store credit, I believe. Uh, I know it's not quite a uh, not quite a wine bundle. But uh, who knows? Maybe you can uh, you can win something with that in the next week or two. I know that you're uh, shit charades. Uh, you you can make drunk pizzas. Hey Sandy, how are you doing? Thanks for uh, thanks for jumping on tonight. Uh, cool. Right, that's all the uh, all the comments read through. Uh, Radio. So we've got a winner. We've got a runner up, uh, and that takes us on to draw number three for the evening. Uh, let's reset the random number generator. Back to zero. Uh, scraping the barrel a bit there. Stop whining, Jonathan. Yeah, we're uh, we really are with the puns. Uh, radio, the air fryer. Oh, you guys may be happy this week. Do you know we haven't had a sold out draw since September last year, and we we launched in August last year. So it's been a hot minute since we sold out a draw. And as you can see from the screen behind me, we had a hundred tickets for the air fryer. And we sold 100. So uh, very happy man here. Thank you guys for uh, for making that one so popular. Um, obviously, if the uh, if the draws aren't popular, uh, they will eventually stop running. So it is really uh, heartening to uh, to have a draw set out, uh, and I really appreciate you guys. So thank you so much to everyone who has entered this week. There it is, the uh, the air fryer. Uh, we're not going to have to do any re-rolls tonight. We've got 100 total tickets available and 100 tickets allocated. So, uh, yeah, there'll be no dilly-dallying. Uh, there'll be no messing about. There'll be no waffling on, Andy. So, yeah, as I said, 100 tickets available for the air fry this week. 100 tickets sold. Um, we've got a full list there. Let's take a look at that list. Lots of names. There's no gaps. If there is a gap, I've made a big old cock up, but there won't be. Aroma checks. There they all are, all a hundred of you. I'm seeing uh, lots of different counties listed there as well, lots of North Yorkshire's as usual, Berkshire, Surrey, Essex, Staffordshire, uh, who else we got? Ayrshire, Edinburgh, Lincolnshire, County Down, Lancashire, yeah we've got loads in there so uh, yeah again thank you guys for, uh, for entering this draw tonight. Let's find out who the winner is, uh, which is 
clearly the most important thing and what you're all uh, holding out for. So with 100 entries, uh, 1 to 100 on the random number generator, good luck to everyone who has entered. Uh, no re-rolls, we're going to find a winner, let's see who it is. And the winning ticket number is 59. 59 for the air fryer, we've got a winner, let's find out who it is. Scrolling down there, 59, let's slow it down, let's build that suspense, 59 for the air fryer. From Berkshire, first time winner, this name has not come up before, S Wood, 59 on the random number generator, 59 on the list, S Wood from Berkshire, congratulations, you got yourself an air fryer. Uh, let's pop those details in there, S Wood. Certainly a first time winner, I haven't seen that name come up before. Don't think I've seen your name come up in the, uh, in the comments tonight, but if you do happen to be there, we'd love to hear from you, we'd love to, uh, to see your little celebration there. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll confirm your delivery details and get that career off to you tomorrow. What have we got in the chat? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Number one baby says Jack. Not this time Jack, not this time. Only seven left when I remembered I hadn't got my tickets tonight. Cutting it fine Susan. Come on, air fry E. What's an air fry E? No wonder you didn't win. Uh, that's amazing news, mate. Congratulations, well done. Thank you, Andy. So chuffed you got to set up. I love a re-roll. Yeah, I know you love the suspense of the re-roll, Susan. Sarah, that's fantastic. It is, uh, Sandy. Thank you. Newbie. Yeah, it's a newbie, Kelly. First time winner. Don't think they're... Uh, they haven't popped their name up in the chat. I would be happy for you for winning, but I'm really not. Come on, Jack. No one likes a sore loser. Hey. You might, be the, uh, you might be the first loser. Uh, in fact, before we do the draw for the runner-up prize for the first loser, let's, uh, let's see what the results of this poll look like. Uh, show results in video. Uh, let's see if that's worked. I have, to, uh, I have to wait a minute because there's a delay on the, uh, on the stream. I think there's about a 10 second delay between real life and what happens in the uh, in the world of Facebook. Uh, so no one likes Ollie, uh, even though he was a runner up and now he's winning. We've got 58% for Mix, uh, we've got 25% for Mick Dundee, and 17% for We Can Do Better. You know what, Mick Dundee, I'm gonna, I wonder if I can cast a vote, because um, uh, Mick Dundee was, uh, was my favorite, but uh, a clear winner, 58%, uh, over 50% of the vote, there won't be any runoffs, uh, the name of the spoon is Mix. It's going to get very confusing because when I say Max, apparently it sounds like Mix. But there you go. You've got Max and Mix. Uh, and on that, let us find the winner of the runner-up prize, the wooden spoon, uh, the also almost ran number 12. For the store credit, £5 store credit, number 12, who's it going to be? Uh, it's D Woolage from Kent. Uh, D Wallage from Kent, don't think you've uh, had a win with us before, so congrats, uh, you have got yourself some store credit uh, to spend on some tickets down the line. Uh, let's pop your details in there, let's make sure I spell this right. Uh, W-O-R-L-L-E-D-G-E. Congratulations again, don't think I've uh, seen you pop up in the, uh, in the chat, but if you are there, uh, yeah, congratulations, we'll get that, uh, that store credit popped into your account tonight. Right, you guys, on to the final draw of the evening, uh, which is the store credit. So let's clear the random number generator, uh, back to zero. Uh, leave that there for now, it's not hurting anyone. So for the store credit, had 100 tickets available, only 75 entries received this week. Um, oops, I've just clicked something. Only 75 entries received this week, um, so don't know what happened there, but... Uh, yeah, better odds for everyone who did enter. Uh, obviously it was um, completely free to enter. Um, so, uh, watch your life sounds scary. Yeah, I know, I've uh, ducked my head in and out a bit, a bit Jack. Everyone's happy with mix. Um, radio, so 75 for the store credit. <clears throat> we'll take a quick look at the entry list there. A whole bunch of names, obviously every name's different because uh, you can only enter once for the store credit. But there you all are, all 75 of you. 
Uh, I don't think we've got 75 on the stream, uh, so you're clearly not all watching, but uh, that's not a bother. 1 to 100 on the random number generator. Um, and yeah, no runner up prize for the store credit, um, so we'll just have the winner and then that'll be it. Uh, and then we will run through the prizes that we'll be launching tomorrow. Um, I'm also going to give you a uh, quick uh, preview of a prize that we're launching, not tomorrow, uh, but on the 1st of March, which will be ooh, maybe in three week, two or three weeks' time. But I want to show you guys because it's something that I'm really pumped about, uh, and I think a few of you will be pretty excited about it as well. But uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Let's find out who the winner is of the £15 store credit, 1 to 100 on the random number generator and the winning number is 52 52 do we have a name uh, look it's a gap it's a gap in amongst all the names so we'll go again and it's 35 35 this time uh, we do have a winner uh, from Wiltshire it is M Wheeler M Wheeler from Wiltshire congratulations don't think I've seen you pop up in the chat but if you're there give us a little celebration you've got yourself £15 store credit Let's whack your details in there. Uh, yeah, first uh, first win with us, I believe. I uh, haven't seen the name come up before, seen it entered before, but uh, not as a winner. So yeah, well done to you. You've got yourself that uh, that store credit, and that does wrap up the uh, the prize draws for this evening, guys. Uh, yeah, as I said, we're going to now do a run through of the draws that we're going to be launching tomorrow. But before we do that. Let's take a quick look at the uh, at the draw that we'll be launching on the 1st of March, which is, yeah, going to be in a few weeks' time. Um, you Yorkshire folk in particular uh, might quite like this one. Um, what I'm going to do is just put this to full screen. Um, so we've got, finally, got a prize draw for a chef's knife. Uh, a few people have been asking about this. Uh, we haven't been able to do it uh, up until now. Um, what we've done, we've reached out to these awesome guys in Yorkshire, Raw Knives. Um, they're an independent, uh, independent producer um, of, of knives. They forge them themselves up in Yorkshire. It's a father-son team. Um, you can see the beautiful designs of their knives there on the screen. Um, what we've done is we've got a voucher uh, for one of their knives. So they're. Uh, their 8 inch steel chef's knife is £360, so we've got a voucher for £360, um, so in a few weeks time we're going to be running a prize draw for that £360 voucher, um, and the lucky winner will obviously get the voucher uh, and be able to go over to their website and buy themselves a chef's knife. Um, you can see that the design is absolutely gorgeous, um, I'm going to have to get one of these knives myself eventually, because um, they really are a work of art. And uh, yeah, they're going to be, excuse the pun, but cut above uh, anything that you'd get from, I think, some of those uh, those mainstream knife brands. So keep an eye out for that. First of March, we've got the, uh, the voucher for Raw Knives coming. Uh, awesome little uh, independent producer of knives in Yorkshire. Um, if any of you Yorkshire folk have heard of them, or know them even, um, do let us know. Um, I, don't assume that everyone in Yorkshire knows each other, but uh, you know, a bit of local brand, you may have uh, you may have come across them. Have a quick gander at the uh, the comments there. Yeah, the, don't see too many knives in the comments. I might get flagged. Uh, and it got spoons sharper than my eyes. Yeah, no, uh, it does get like that. Late to the live show, but think I won. You did, Jason. Yeah, what did you win? You won the wine bundle, mate. Um, yeah, you won the uh, Le Creuset uh, wine decanter. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, and the twelve glasses. Congratulations! Uh, always wanted some posh knives. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Chris, this will be uh, this will be a good one. So uh, keep an eye out for that in a few weeks' time, guys. Let's switch back to camera only now. Um, and take a look at the prizes that we're launching tomorrow. Let's get that out of the way. That's been won. That belongs to someone now. Um, so as usual, we're going to have. The store credit launching tomorrow, um, 100 tickets available, uh, free to enter, one ticket per account. Uh, so we'll have that, and then we'll have three kitchenware prizes. Take a look at this one here first. Uh, so from Barbary and Oak, uh, we've got an ovenware set. It's really quite beautiful, this stuff. Let's, uh, let's move a few things around there. Um, 
Don't play it like that. Don't play it like that. Yeah, so um, you get this uh, this ovenware set. It comes with uh, four mini casseroles that you can see in that box there. It then comes with a rectangular and a square casserole um, roasting dish. Uh, comes with two ramekins there, and it comes with the, the larger uh, casserole dish there. So give you guys a, a, a bit of a closer look at that bundle. From Barbary and Oak, uh, we are going to have 100 tickets available for that, and it's just two pounds to enter. Uh, so just two pounds to enter for that beautiful blue ovenware set from Barbary and Oak, and yeah, just 100 tickets available in total. Quick look at the comments there. Ninja Electric Grill and Smoke are being released tomorrow, Max. I've got my eye on that, Chris. Yeah, I don't actually have one in stock yet, but uh, we'll definitely be running a draw for it, because uh, I've seen that pop up, and that looks like uh, an awesome little uh, gadget, that one. Uh, the oven we said is gorgeous. Many things. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's really beautiful, this stuff. Um, and I've really become quite fond of the Barbary and Oak brand as well. So, uh, yeah, coming up tomorrow. Two pounds to enter for that one. Uh, what else we got? Another air fryer, of course. Um, it is a T-Fowl air fryer. We've done a few T-Fowls in the past. Um, we haven't actually done this model before. This one's slightly smaller, as you can probably see from the box. Um, this is the Active Fry Genius Snacking, um, or Active Fry Genius Plus Snacking. Um, it's a bit smaller than the previous Active Fry models we've done. Um, some people have asked for smaller ones. Um, obviously, um, we don't all have huge families, and we also don't all have loads of uh, loads of space to store these things. Um, so we've gone for the slightly smaller model this week. Uh, this one's going to have 150 tickets available, um, and it's going to be three pounds to enter. Um, so that's for the t fell air fryer there. Uh, I'm sure that'll be, uh, I'm sure that'll be a popular one. Everyone seems to uh, to love the air fryer drawers at the moment. As we saw from last night, sell out. Um, so that's draw uh, number two tomorrow. Um, and then finally, this one's a bit of a boring box, unfortunately. Um, don't know why. Um, but this is a Le Creuset pan set. Retails for I think 480 pounds. Uh, comes with a saucepan, a uh, frying pan, and a, um, a casserole saucepan. Let's see if we can uh, take a look at them. Sometimes they're packed up quite well, but we might be able to... Yeah, they are, uh, they are all quite well packed up, but... Uh, a bit of, yeah, there's all wrapped in plastic, obviously, but there's the, the saucepan. Uh, comes with a lid, and then, yeah, there's also a, a frying pan and the casserole pan in that set. Uh, we've got 150 tickets going for that, and that will be £4 per entry. There'll be some decent photos of it uh, up on the website, obviously, when we uh, when we launch the draws tomorrow. And, uh, and we'll also post those photos on the socials um, at some point during the next week or so. See if I can get this box closed again. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame it's a bit of a boring box, but uh, yeah, fantastic. High-quality pan set there from the Cruze. Um, Goes on all hob types, including induction. Um, very sturdy. You know these should last you a lifetime if you look after them. Uh, and that's it, guys. That's the uh, that's the four drawers tomorrow. So the uh, the air fryer, the Barbary and Oak ovenware set, and the Le Creuset pan set, plus of course the fifteen pounds store credit draw. Um, we've had a poll tonight. We've got a name of the spoon, and it is the uh, the aptly named mix. Uh, so the wooden spoon for all of our runner-ups. Um, we have planted trees, guys. We're up to 1,873 trees planted. Uh, so knocking on the door of 2,000. Uh, yeah, next next week I think we should hit the 2,000 mark. Just possibly the week after, but I reckon we can. Uh, I reckon we can get there next week, guys. 2,000 trees planted. So that is very exciting. Uh, and then, like I said, in a few weeks' time, uh, we're going to have a prize draw for a voucher from these awesome guys at Raw Knives. Tell you what, guys, go give them a follow on uh, on Instagram if you've got Instagram, um, and check out some of their um, check out some of their stuff. Uh, I'm not logged in, so you can't see it, uh, but it's just Raw Knives, all one word, on Instagram. So go and check those guys out because uh, they're an awesome little local outfit up in Yorkshire. Uh, producing some really beautiful chef's knives. 
Guys, that is pretty much us for the evening. I have a quick look at the uh, at the comments. Um, thank you again to everyone who's entered our draws this week. Uh, like I said, awesome to see a sell out. That uh, that puts a big grin on my face. Um, great to see some of those draws being so popular. And uh, yeah, congrats again, of course, to all of our winners tonight. Chris, you had me at the Cruze. Yeah, it's uh, it's a great brand. It really is. Sandy needs a new pan set. 1873 trees, cement, the year I was born. <laughs> nice one. We've got to hit 2000 next week. I reckon we'll get there. I reckon we'll get there. So many trees, that's awesome. Yorkshire produces awesome stuff. It does. Awesome stuff and awesome people, Sandy, I, I hazard to say. And then Andy in there saying congrats to everyone and great stuff to me. Or maybe great stuff to mix. Uh, guys, hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Valentine's Day evening. Enjoy. Your, your dinners, your, your Hogwarts legacies, or whatever it is you're getting up to. Um, have an awesome rest of your week, and hopefully see most of you guys same time, same place, next Tuesday. But uh, yeah, until then, look after yourselves. Cheers.